Hi, this is Matthew Perusi with, with JWAG. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to delete a duplicate account from Google Places for Business. In the recent transition from the old Google Places to the new Google Places for Business, many duplicate accounts were created or business listings were created. And what happened was when Google was transitioning the old places, they were creating a new listing that shows here in places for business while at the same time they were converting many of the pages or many of the old business listings into Google Plus pages. So as a result many businesses have ended up with two listings in places for business as well as multiple Google Plus pages. On the screen here we see that this ex exact scenario has happened with my own business Jeweler Websites Inc. which you see here. This first account, Jeweler Websites, shows that it is unverified. And the second one here, Jeweler Websites, with the shield and the check mark, means that this is the verified business. Both of these listings have uh, plus pages. If I click on the, the Google Plus page there, we see this listing. And I was waiting for that notice to come up. It says, your page has been blocked since it has been identified as possible spam. To unblock it, please verify. Well, this is just the innocuous mes message that comes up. This is not a spam page. It is an accidental duplicate. Now, if I click on the other one, and we open up the Google Plus page for the other account, we see that this one is verified. There is a user icon. and there have been a lot of posts and activity on this account so certainly this is the account that we want to save it also happens to be the one where our YouTube videos are attached whereas on the old one we have no videos attached and we have no posts the other thing you want to look at is to make sure which one of your listings has reviews attached to it so if I go into the about which will show me the information about the local business. I can scroll down and I see here that there are two reviews, but on the duplicate one, when I scroll down, we see that there are no reviews as of yet. So this certainly is the account that we want to delete. Now, there are two different methods of deleting the accounts. If I go back into Google Places for Business, if I click on the jeweler websites for the uh, unverified account. That is what I want to do. Edit this listing. And it gives me the red notice here. We are not showing this page because it is a duplicate of another. If I scroll down to the bottom, I will see that there is a link for remove this listing, which I'm going to click. And we get this notice here. Are you sure you want to remove this listing from your account? Please note that this action cannot be undone and you will no longer be associated with this listing. This will stop any campaigns in AdWords Express for the business and the listing jeweler websites may continue to appear in search results on Google, Google Maps, and Google Plus Local. Uh, that is because just because we are removing our own permission from editing the account, Google m may still view this as a viable listing and they will keep it. But of course, in this particular case, the reason that it really will continue to show up is because it is a duplicate and there's another one that supersedes this already. Now the important part down here is you will no longer be able to use this listing with these services and it shows the Google Plus page. Now the Google Plus page is this one here. But here, this is an important factor because it is telling us if we delete this listing we will no longer be associated with the Google, Google Plus page. In reality, we want to delete the listing and the Google Plus page at the same time. So this is not really the way to do it. I'm going to click uh, Cancel here to bring me back to the edit screen. So I'm going to go into the Google Plus page and from here I'm going to click on the blue button for uh, edit business information. But I could also do this from my dashboard. I'm going to go into the dashboard and show that here as well. In the dashboard, it shows the 
the blocked symbol over over the user icon to indicate that this is a blocked uh, page. And we can see that none of the other services here are, are attached because this is a blocked page. So I'm going to click on the edit business information. Again, I still see this listing. We are not showing this page because it is a duplicate of, of another. Well, this time it says the word duplicate and not spam. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Now, all of these options for editing are all grayed out, and it shows a little locked icon next to each uh, line. This way you can't edit it. Now, down at the bottom here, it says delete this page, which is the important one. If I click on this, it jumps me over to my settings page. Now again, here comes the notice up at the top. And down at the settings page, it's not really telling me what to do here, but I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And click the link for delete page. Now here's the important part. If you delete this page, all of its contents will be deleted, including posts, videos, and photos. Managers won't be able to access the page. If you claimed a listing for this page, any edits you made will be lost. If you created a listing, it will be, delete, will be deleted. So here's the important thing. What it's telling us is that the listing will be deleted at the same time the Google Plus page will be deleted. And that listing is, it's referring to the Google Places for Business listing. Uh, all ad campaigns will be paused. It doesn't delete AdWords, it just uh, pauses the ad campaigns. I'm going to click Delete Page. It now brings me up and asks me for my login information. To verify my password, I sign in. And now at this page, it is telling me one more time, please read this carefully because all of this information will be deleted. So I will not be able to do Hangouts anymore. I understand that. Yes, I do want to delete this account. I acknowledge that I am still responsible for any changes, for any charges incurred. Uh, that is, if you have uh, any kind of a payment or billing attached to this account, it's those charges are still going to go through. I understand that I will no longer... Uh, I understand that, that I... No longer, I will no longer manage the content for the, the Google Plus page, and that the associate, associated business may still appear on Maps, Google Local Search, and elsewhere on Google. Yes, I understand that. And once I click the delete button, it will show me for a moment that something is processing, and then it will immediately jump me back to my uh, Google Plus stream. as you see here. Now let's confirm what has just happened. I'm going to go into my uh, Google Places for Business and I'm going to click on, now technically speaking, this listing that I'm now looking at here, the unverified one, this is now deleted. It doesn't show it in real time because I haven't refreshed my browser window. I'm going to click on Places for Business and it still shows both of them are listed here and I am now going to click the refresh in my browser and now as I scroll down you can see that there is only one listing here for jeweler websites I'm going to go back to Google Plus and let's take a look at the same thing here when I hover over my home button I can go down to pages right here and it shows my JWAG page, my Jeweler Websites page, but as I scroll down there are no other duplicate listings for uh, Jeweler Websites. And that's it. That concludes this video of how to delete an accidental duplicate account that was created from the migration from the old Google Places into the new Google Places for Business and how it merges automatically with a Google Plus page.
Bottom line, you want to delete from Google Plus and not from the Places for Business dashboard. So this is Matthew Perosi with JWAG. I'll see you next time.